Welcome to the Soapstone Comedy Club. Please keep it clean and follow the house rules. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen in the yard, please make your way inside. The show is ready to begin. We can't start this lovely show without our wonderful audience and community here at the Soapstone. Welcome and good evening to the Well Metaverse Show. Let's bring out our host this evening, Ace the Bass and War Feather. Yeah. <laughs> How's it good going, evening, everybody? Welcome. How are you all? Cool. War How's it going, Ace? Ah, uh, man, another long week, you know. Yeah. So you got any builds going on or what? Same old, same old. Working on soapstone. <laughs> City Drift actually just uh, we re republished with like I don't know 15 more cars so I think there's like 36 different cars now in there oh wow cool so, yeah. I definitely have to check that out has anybody also, gone and ch checked out that world yet or what City Drift no I was going to say also if anybody wants them the uh, the the gliders are half price no oh, cool <laughs> <laughs> so. alright so we're uh, we always like to try to do a little bit of a spot every week uh, with one of our other shows. Um, so who are we bringing up today? Herb, you want to hop on up here? Give you a couple minutes to talk about what you do here each week. Yeah. Well, first of all, hello, everyone. Um, yeah, so for those who don't know, I'm the host of uh, Le Soapstone, which is the the French uh, show at uh, the French event in Soapstone. So we got Soapstone this every, um, we do this every Wednesdays at uh, 2.45 p.m. It may seem a bit weird for the hour, but most of the, 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 the people, most of the guests are from France and there's a six hour difference. So that's why we do it in the middle of the afternoon instead of the evening. That's cool. What do you guys mm -hmm. do like for that show? Like what, what do you guys do there? We mainly have two games. Um, the first part of the, the, the show, like I, I'd say the first 20, 25 minutes, it's what they call the blind test. To me, it's like a, it's like name that tune. You know, I play uh -huh. a song and they have to figure out who is the artist and or the title of the song and they get points for that. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> when I started with them, I, I said, well, it's, it's, it's a show called Name That Tune. And they were like, well, what is it? And so I explained the, 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 the concept of the game. And I said, oh, you say, you're talking about blind test. But I mean, even in French, they call that blind test. I was like, okay. Oh. So here's some, I'm curious. Hello. Do people in France have anything different as far as music than we listen to here in America? uh yeah what i did is that um instead of having uh, instead of picking songs that i listen because i i'm from quebec so instead of picking french songs in quebec i really went in YouTube, on youtube and got a playlist of songs played in france mm. and i mean most of the songs i, I don't even know them but still they're <laughs> like oh i know i know i know, I know. okay fine <laughs> that's cool so so yeah so it's very different but uh, I, I always play one French song and one English song. Yeah. So I'm better with the English songs, but as for the <laughs> French songs, I'm like, Pfft. gotcha. Yeah. So, so yeah, cool. so that's the first 20, 25 minutes. And after that, we just play trivia. Awesome. Yeah. So if you ever want to come hang out and learn a little bit of French or hang out with some French speaking people, yep. come hang out at Soapstone 245 on Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Nice. All right, we got a special guest tonight. I mean, he's definitely uh, been around for a while. He uh, multiple platforms, does a lot of building. Um, talk about everybody's here for him, obviously. He's a relaxing cloud. If you want to come on out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, I was kicked out of stage. What's going on? Open oh. mic. <laughs> Oh, lady, lady. What's going on? She's fixed it's the stage. She was turned on. All oh. right, you should be good now. Should be good. You yeah, ruined yeah. the good moments. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It happens once in a while. It happens once in a while. Of <laughs> How have you guys Sorry been? Do we, She's we get some confetti good. on it as well? Yeah. Yeah. We love Thanks it. Thanks for coming on. Thanks I'm for coming on. Man. No worries. I'm more honored to do it. Oh, well, 
as far as that, I mean, we kind of kick this off and we kind of start this kind of the same way a little bit every time. Mm -hmm. um, you've been on for a while. So we are, you know, this question kind of goes specifically for somebody as long as you, but what, what brought you to the, the VR headset and then what kind of brought you to this platform? So um, I actually, so I started uh, to play like VR chats at the start. This is around like COVID time, so 2020. Um, I only played it by PC. And then when I met a group of friends that became like very close friends to me, they said, oh, you, you bro, you need to get immersed in this whole VR thing, get a headset. So they were pretty much bragging into my headset. You need to get a headset, get a headset. And around about summer 2021, I started to get the headset. And then I think it was the best choice of my life. And then that was when I was like, I knew I was going to really enjoy this. Okay, so that and then, so once you got this headset, what kind of brought you to the horizons? I mean, was it word of mouth, or did you just look around? Actually, the funny part was the horizon was so uh, I was my brother downloaded this game. He doesn't even play VR, but he said he's heard that Horizon Worlds, and he was like, "Bro, just play it." And um, I don't know. I'm, I, I was a bit funny of it at first, but then slowly it kind of drawed my attention to think, "Well, okay, you know, Facebook's doing their own thing," and. You know, so because I could, you know, get a bit tired of doing just one thing. So I went to the, played more of the Horizons when it was like early days when we had no legs, when we had like more simple block kind of uh, designs. Now it's like, um, you know, as time grew on, I started to get attached to uh, Horizon Mods and become more thought, yeah, it's not, I'll be on here a bit more. So I love the interaction and like the, the diversity of people you get to meet to. Absolutely. No, that's always a great thing. And then you find yourself in a build mode. Um, so, I mean, and if you go through the list, you have quite a few builds under your belt. Um, the one that kind of sticks out to me is like uh, uh, Midnight Rooftop, or is that correct? Midnight Rooftop, yes. Yeah, that seems to be a, um, actually, we have a show here on Friday. It's called Musician Showcase, and they've actually used that as like a, an after party world before. So, I don't uh, know if you know that or not, but. Yeah, quite a few people have gone to that. So, I mean, that's actually a really, really beautiful build. What, what kind of inspired you on doing something like that? So, um, so like I said, I'm more of a VR chat person, but I feel like um, a lot. there's a lot of things that I feel like um, would be useful if you can promote, like, beautiful worlds. And so, and I know that they say that, oh, Horizon Worlds and VR chat are very different. They are. They are very different. But some of the worlds just stick out, and I feel like they should be spanned. So... When it came to um, recreating VR chat worlds, the Midnight Rooftop wasn't the first, but it was the one I knew that I felt like it was going to get more of the attention. Because when I started doing recreating VR chat worlds, the first one was drinking night, and um, mm -hmm. so what I'd done is I was like, "Ah, oh, wouldn't that be cool to you know spread it around to different um, platforms?" So I went and reached out to the creators. So Rackshaw, who created uh, drinking night, and asked their permission. She gave me the permission. And I started building it, and once I'd done that one, then I was like, you know, I'm going to do Midnight Rooftop because it's quite popular in VR chat, and I knew that this world would be useful to those like much more mature and older audience. So I reached out to I Am Lex, who created it, and said I would like to put it on Horizon Worlds, build it myself, took me some time, and I've had some help, some lovely people. Especially one in the audience, Mr. Ashman himself has helped me on it with the music. So thank you very much, Ash. Thank you. Um, but then I also, once I was building it slowly, it was teaching me how to build so much better. Like my crafting skills have got way, way better. And then I knew when I stepped back from it, I was like, this world is going to be my probably my favorite and most famous one. And still to this day, I'm humbled. And I know that. I will still update it throughout time, but I just, I love that one. I'm so honored for it. So definitely, I think with doing it, it inspired me to make more, and I've got plenty more coming up. That's cool. Now, I know you like to recreate a lot of the VR chat worlds. Like, do you have, do you actually cross platform yourself? Do you build in VR chat as well, or what? I am currently actually looking <laughs> to build in VR chat worlds. Um, so obviously, because I, I knew that when uh, Horizon was starting doing trimester stuff, I felt like if I start learning now in the early process, while not everyone's got it, 
so that if I do know how to use it, I can then use it to build not both on VR chat and then on here. So at least it'd be a good way to look at it is if I start learning now, so by the time I get TriMesh, I could do it like multiple uh, platforms. So definitely, yes, so I will be, I am definitely looking into it. I'm speaking to a few of my friends who are also world builders. They're going to teach me how to do the whole thing, including that be both Blender and Unity. Do you have right. any kind of like background with 3D modeling or, or nope. is this I actually kind of didn't. the beginning of it for you? I didn't, no. Um, but when, after building on here, I know it's free, count as 3D modeling building. So once I started to download the software and then put my mindset like I was in Horizon, and then I thought, right, okay. So if it doing by hand, you do it by controllers. And then slowly as I do like just a simple like builds or like simple like a building, I knew that was very similar to here. And that's when I was like, okay, I actually starting to get the hang of it. And now I can see the, the similarity to it. Okay. Oh, did you well, have another one? Sorry. Well, I was just say, so is there, a, is there a story behind like what got you to where you like really started wanting to build and wanting to to create things in here? Did you? So the so how I got into building uh, an old friend of mine who used to come in here, she used to build all the time, and I used to uh, used to be invited as a test and just watch her build, and I was so like inspired to build, and I said, hey, would you ever be cool to uh, you know teach me how to build one day? And she said, I only teach I'll only teach you one tool that will benefit you for the future and everything else is better to do for yourself. She taught me the snap on tool and she says, this is the only tool you actually genuinely need anything else. I think it's best for you to learn. So once she basically took, I would say a good three hours explaining the whole uh, simple mm -hmm. tool, but obviously the full function of it, uh, she was like, right, cool. Now go, now go and build. And, um, it took a while before I start actually building properly because I build like stuff with simple assets, you know, not the fun part. But then once I keep had people say, don't build with assets, just build with primitive, you'll be good. And then slowly and surely I've had like, just be like, I want to build more. I want to build more. I've done this and I've done this. And hell, I even had someone said, why don't you build this and this like from a picture? And I thought, okay, yeah. And then slowly i've started recreating from pictures like some little stuff like um tables layouts designs and architects and then to the next minute I want to do vr chat recreation worlds and when you look into it and how detailed it is mm. uh, it makes me want to um i was like i want to do more and build this and build this and every now and then i'll just look at something and it makes me know i'll just build it instantly Sometimes those limitations are rough, right? Like uh, VR chat, some of the detail, like I've, I've, I've recreated a couple of VR and it's just hard to really, you know, bring that, uh, the same look. But on that note, when you do this, you mentioned uh, photos or whatnot, right? So when you do pre-planning and planning out how you're going to do this build, uh, like what's kind of the steps you take on doing that? Okay. So if I say I'm going to make a new world and I'm going to make a new VR chat world, what I do is I look at a world um if it's gonna be complex or is it gonna be simple if it's say simple then it could be done in an hour but if i go for the more complex which i've got some in the list what i do is i i look at the the main layout so i go by steps so the first step is um create a base so mm -hmm. so such as like everyone does the simple shape cube into a floor okay that's a simple base but more create a floor or create the land part and then if it's a house create just the outlays of it do this just do the walls the roof nothing inside and then once i'm comfortable with that part then look into the simple lighting do i need lights in certain areas does this place need to be dim so that um i can get a vibe for this if it, if i i currently start using the gizmo lights um just as an, a, an idea and then i use the shape uh, lights for the glow to reduce the gizmo best advice ever and that's where okay and then once i've done that part i go for okay attention to detail how many capacity can i make so i do this dangerous trick where i make it i use the most expensive which is more accurate 
then look at the cheaper alternative to make it for the um to save them capacity. Mm-hmm. So I do say if I do um midnight rooftops, so the first part is the I would say the um elevator scene. Don't make it too popular, don't make it too detailed if no one's gonna be making the effort of it. Just make that part and think, okay, that's the first step. Make it just a little bit so when people look at it, nice. When it comes to the apartment, that's where I knew people were going to look at the detail. Do one room at a time. Do the kitchen, do the lounge, do the stairs. I take it all in like little steps. And then once I've done that part, pull, focus on another part. Do you do any scripting or is it all, all building? I'm more of a builder. Um, I find scripting to me a little bit complex, but... Um, I have looked into learn just the basics, like how do I do teleports? Do me? Uh, do I need to do music? Do I need to do a little like mod tool? So, but those are the only ones I can kind of roughly do. Mm-hmm. But I've so had. Do you I've, have somebody that you currently work with most of the time to do scripting in your worlds, or do you just kind of pick different people in there each time? So if I'm if I am in need of a scripter, I go and find one, and sometimes I hire one. I did one for Winter Company, which is a very beautiful odd. I actually went and seeked out and commissioned a script of the spawn assets and said, right, that's what I, now I've got everything. Worked on the capacity and thought, right, I need a script, I need an asset spawning. And then I thought, right, how many or two do I know? I go around asking people who knows, like I said, a good knowledge of scripters. And for me, if I'm building something that's voluntary, see, so recreating VR chat mods, I chose to do it for free and I'm happy to pay for people to say I need your scripting can you come and help me give me a quote and then we'll go from there mm. so I value I value time with people and I don't see it as a business but I see it as professionalism mm-hmm. and I go to scripters and say hey I want this what's your quote for that so <clears throat> in general then are you pretty much Solo building besides the people that you bring on for that, or do you have yes, any, I'm anybody also, that's I yeah. solo build um because um it's more so that I know something's done. And mm-hmm. if I if I can't do it now, I write it down and say, right, focus focus on this for another time, and then I'll go to do somewhere else and I can come back to it. Um I am I am currently looking to form a group, which I actually have a group called Parallel Echo, which is a new group where people are like who build like VR chat recreation worlds, and then so we can help each other out. So that if you want to come in and you can recreate worlds, we can. It's just for people who can build or script voluntary, and we do it for um, share and help out worlds. And uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, hopefully expand it. That's that's a pretty cool concept. I mean, a lot of people in Horizons do that, like. With this, uh, with this group, I mean, do you guys have kind of like designated roles, like who does what, like with strong points, or is it kind of just a lot of builders that come together to help it's, out each other? So at the moment, it's just me and Unique JCB. Um, he's a great builder, mm-hmm. by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, so the way I'm going to rule it is there's no leader or team. It's um, if you can build, cool. If you can script, cool. You don't have to do both. If you want to do a bit, be a builder, you be a builder. If you can be a scripter, you be a scripter. And... The rule is is that uh, we say, hey, I'm going to recreate, say, um, give you another word, for example. If I was to say, I want to recreate this world from VR chat, would anyone want to be a part of it? And if they say, yeah, cool, we'll just, they can do it in their own time, no rush. And if you don't, call by us. Oh, cool. It's always nice to have a second set of eyes or third or fourth, you know, so that's a good way to do mm-hmm. it. Right? Absolutely. Definitely. So, I mean, are you? Are you currently working on any projects right now, or? So I have, I have um, one, two, three, four VR chat recreations world in the list. So the current one I'm doing is Rest and Sleep, which is a personal favorite world, which is, yes, it is, as it says, Rest and Sleep is a sleeping world. That world is like, it's one of the worlds I first went to when I first started VR chat, and you'll often find me asleep. Yes, I'm one of them. <laughs> and then after that would be the most famous one is Spirits of the Sea, which I feel like everyone knows. Oh, that yeah, that's a nice one, yeah. 
I'm definitely going to be doing that one, although I'm not looking forward to the crabs. I'm not a fan of them, but, you know, <laughs> the world is inspired by them. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh. Then after that, I've got... Um... Oh, actually, no. I'm also recreating the drinking night because that got deleted, so I will be doing an upgrade version of that one and bring that back. And then I'm going to do the most beautiful world it's called Serenity Cove. For anyone who doesn't know Serenity Cove, it's like a beautiful, like, purple hour sunset beach with beautiful romantic music. It's got locations and so on. I feel like if you have, like, a partner or someone you like, take them there. It's the most beautiful place ever. So there's four. I put it in the list. Um, and then once I get more people, I said, right, do you guys want to do this part? Do you want to do this part? And uh, yeah, and the fairness we share. So if you guys want to say like, you want certain music from this world, cool. I'll speak to the create. I'll speak to the artist. Get the group permission instead of being the solo permission, which I've got, and then work something out. So you 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 did mention that uh, you like to get permission before you do it from the creators in VR. Yes. Have you ever found yourself to try to want to do one of these builds, but find that it's already in Horizons, or has that happened to you yet? Uh, I actually do take precautions on that so, uh, notes. I like, um, I make sure that if I see a building or want to do a build that's actually in VR chat, I have to double check like constantly. I have to go backwards and forwards in this. Have I ever found a world that is on VR chat unknowingly? I hope not at the moment. So, none that <laughs> I know of, hopefully. I asked that question because I learned that from experience where we were working on a, a world and junior was working on a world and we released it the same week same world for vr chat basically so i was wondering if that happened to you ever because i mean it's not one of those worlds you just get to you have to be on your pc to get there and everything you know so i just oh, thought yeah. it, was, I, it was it was funny that, that, has, that actually happened i have had like trouble with p certain people on on here saying bro why are you ripping off like vr chat worlds in here just create your own stop being so lazy and stop stealing other people's work but I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't steal people's work because every VR chat room I recreate has a disclaimer in every world. And those who've been to Midnight Rooftop, you can see a disclaimer. And those who've been to Midnight Roo uh, the Winter Company one, there's a disclaimer. There's always a disclaimer that is easy to see saying that I've got permission, so and so. And for example, I actually was in the Discord of the guy who, or the girl who made Midnight Rooftop said, oh, there's some guy stole your work on uh, Horizon Worlds, sent the picture, and it was what I'd done. And the person, <laughs> and the, per and the person I'm Lex themselves said, I know, they got my permission. Uh, that's good, yeah. And I was just like, bro, I did say, you know, God, I, I'm the person that respects, like, creators, create artists. I, I respect them, and if you're going to use their work, the, I think the courtesy to have is obviously getting permission. Have any of those creators that you've rebuilt their stuff in here, have any of them that you were aware of come into here and seen them? One of them has. So truthfully, the the, the original creators have a salty or a bad word about Horizons. They feel like it's oh. like, uh, kind of avoid that place. But Midnight, uh, no, Winter Company had a guy called Lucifer M Star. He also is a Horizon player, actually. And once I've done the world, um, I said, hey, bro, come to Horizon Worlds and I'll give you a tour. So, all right, then. Came in here and he said he absolutely loved it. He mm. even said to me, when we all get Trimesh, let me know. I'll help you. And then get yours oh. world Trimeshed. Yeah. That's so, cool. Cool. I'm l looking forward to that. Yeah, I think, I mean, I would look at, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's copying anyway. I mean, if anything, it's a compliment because if you can literally look at an image and build it, that in itself is an art form, right? So, if anything, it's more of a compliment that you're bringing it over here, you know? So, that's what I love. Anyway, so it's cool that you do what you do with VR chat worlds, you know? So, I, I yes. only build if I got the consent. If I don't get it, I change, I just start looking at another world. I've not had that yet, but I know one day it will happen. I'll be like, cool. I understand. That. I'm sorry to waste your time, but I appreciate your messages and uh, yeah, have a lovely day. And then I'll go and find another world. That I'll say, so, okay. 
you, you mentioned the creators over there and the kind of the stigma that they have about Horizon. Is it a stigma with like the fidelity of of Horizon and the like building and primitives, or is it a thing with the community? What what is it that you think is the disconnect there? It's more so as there is a certain kind of group that tends to steal worlds. Mm. So there has been people, and I'm not I'm not giving them slate, I'm not giving them bad names. There has been people who would recreate their world and claim it as them. And I feel like that's disrespectful in so many ways because mm. that's someone else's time, that's someone else's project. And, you know, I see it as, well, if you haven't got the respect or courtesy to inform them and say, could I just get permission? You know, most people would say, I'll happily give you permission, just inform us. And then I speak to some of the uh, VR chat creators and said, what do you guys think about it? Although I'm not going to say it here because it's very vulgar, but they said that it was pretty shitty of them for that. Mm -hmm. That's lightly saying. Yeah. And um, I thought, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Obviously, I'm part of that community as well. But I don't. that's why I don't steal. I just why I always get consent. They've even said to me, it's people like you that they should look uh be like more because you come in you ask politely you, and i even give them the say on the world so as in if they want that world gone tomorrow i will do it no problem because after all it's still their world even if it's a different platform do you see um do you think you see any of the vr chat creators possibly coming into horizon to pull their worlds in here once trimesh is a thing here they have actually. We, so we sp I spoke to a few. Um, said about oh, you know, they're going to start doing three D imports and stuff. And they said we they might actually look into it. So <laughs> I don't think they'll be committed like us, but they'll probably come in, make their world on here, and then disappear. That's, I think that's what they kind of said. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's if you're going to be like. That, Fair enough. I mean, it's your world, it's your choice and your freedom, but I feel like you should also, if you're going to do that, make a little, make a little time on here, just so you can get used yeah. to it. Yeah, and I mean, even if that's how they come into it as their mindset, they come in and, and build that stuff, that gives them at least a chance to kind of experience the community in Horizon, and who knows where they go after that. Where I say is, build what you want to do, build what you want to be, and nothing's going to stop you. If that's what you want to do, then do it be happy but what i would mainly say to people is if you're going to build something you know is it going to don't build it because you you know for the sake of it or think oh i'm going to get a little promotion build it because it's passion you know mm. i said i said this to the other show i was on i said um you know i had people come up to me and say hey relax and how how are you you could build these kind of details but i can't and everything i'm just like it's simple Look at what you want. Look at the stuff you want to build. What are you into? Are you into nightclubs? Are you into podcasts? Are you into some like simple stuff? It's doable. Grab something from a photo from AI or something from Google and recreate it. It's not hard. But though it's, it's time consuming, but it's good because you grow, grow in your building, take a little turn in details. You never know. And that's how, that's how I did it. So for you learning to, to build in here, was there ever a time where it kind of something that you was difficult for you and, and like you really had to kind of figure out and and like what was a, a major hurdle for you in building? I think it's more memory. So I'm, I'm not, I've got a bad memory is if say I wanted to, I was building the world and something, they had a change and update and their visuals changed. I had that with Winter Company, um, and I had to kind of recreate a world or a room, and I'm there like I have the least memory of it, but I know that it, I know the layout. So I went to do the layout, went through my headsets, my pro and my number two, and see if I got the old pictures with it. And then, if I don't have a photo, which God bless, I did had a about one or two photos. <laughs> But if it had to be do by memory, I kind of play with it. And then mm -hmm. if I can't seem to find like a photo that resembles to it, I actually go and contact the owner and said, do you have the photo of like this room? Because I'm just still studying on this. I'm still struggling on this part. 
but from other than winter company for the drinking night i think that was the hard one to do it by how do i make it so it's like good shape am i making it too, too big am i doing it too small and this is how detail i go for so you know when you put textures on like wood mm. right mm. they count the wood planks on one texture to get it detailed I make sure I look at even like texture detailed. Hmm. Awesome. And I had to write yeah. it down and say, right, this is okay, this is so, this is so, number this, number that. And that's what I do now, and it helps me so much. Yeah. That's pretty good. Pretty good attention to detail. You have, you have a world um, project awareness, I think it was what it was. Yes. Um, what, what is, what's that about? So project awareness was a world that I built when I was like, I was struggling with mental health and I still do, but I've learned to cope better. I've had support. I've went to therapy, you know, I've had spoke to very close people and um, said like, I'm going through this and that. So I made a project awareness to kind of hopefully speak out to people. Cause I also was meeting people who in depressions, anxiety, PTSD and all that stuff. And although it's just sometimes nice to be at when you feel like, you know, mental health gets too much for you. Mm -hmm. That one took me five minutes to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Sometimes those worlds, they take 10 minutes and the most popular. You go spend, you know, 100 hours and there's like three people like your world. So I, I feel you on that one. Well, so the thing is, I didn't value time <clears throat> at the time, but now I do. I value, like when I do uh, when the Company, that was six months on and off. Mm -hmm yeah i feel i i i understand that i mean there's when you're working on like eight or nine projects like by the time you get one done you're like oh man that took like four months to do so now you're there i'm uh, more happy the result i don't really care how long it takes because you know if it's fun it's fun you know i don't force myself to build if i don't want to feel like building that's the thing some people are like oh you know i have to build now because i have to do it every now like if you're not in the mood to build don't because you're, you're going to get least active and feel more less inspired to build do it when you're in the mood to be building that's where i feel like the results will be top notch now kind of going back a little bit we're talking about collaboration right mm -hmm. um so you're kind of you're you're developing a team it sounds like um you said you don't really so much bring people into your builds because you kind of want to make sure that things are done on, on the flip side, do you help others with their worlds or do you have some type of uh, way for people to reach out to kind of get your opinion? Um, I've had loads of people saying, relaxing, can you help me build this or relaxing, could you um, help me fix this and everything? And I always give back. I like sometimes I've had some people's builds where they're like, hey, relaxing, I know you're building on this, but um, I've got a problem and I was wondering if you can fix it. And I'm like, cool. I said, okay, let me finish this part. Let me do my part in here. And then I write it down to kind of like log it down. Then I can help them with that. So that when, once I've done that part, I could take a little rest from building and then go back to building. So mm -hmm. I always give back. And then um, also, I mean, as you could tell, the whole well metaverse thing is more on the building scripting side of everything, right? Um, so when you do your builds, do you optimize throughout the process? Because you're mentioning kind of like gray boxing and like that when you build. Do you optimize through the process or do you kind of get everything done, optimize, and then finalize everything? Like, how do you make sure the world's, you know, prime? Um, I do optimize it once it goes into the attention to details um, stage. Because it's no doubt that the little stuff such as chairs, tables, mugs, and those things do cost. And sometimes with trees, they're the most expensive ones. Mm -hmm. So I do my absolute best to uh, kind of compress the amount of uh, like the capacity um just because i feel like though i yes i do kind of glitch it with 32 players which <laughs> not always a good thing yeah. but when it comes to the world itself i always optimize it because i think that's important i make sure that um the world is like just at 100 before i start even publishing it to 32 people do it by speed <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I always, I always like to ask that question because, uh, um, well, I mean, it's important, you know, so I just kind of curious how the you know, thought process is on that. 
All right. Well, I mean, we're kind of like, we're kind of through midway point. So what we like to try to do is uh, we do try to open up questions to anybody in the audience, any building questions, uh, see if they have anything for you or Ace or myself, kind of go from there. Do we have any people in the audience that have any questions so far this evening? Do we have anybody that's working on anything right now? No, it seems like a pretty chill co community, which is it's nice. Yeah. Hey, you know, bunch of pro builders. Don't you love that, that Ash, man? I know you. Take your coffee. Question for you, though. Hello. In, yeah. uh, so when you're building a VR chat uh, recreation in here, do you go into VR chat, look at it, come out and go in here and, into Horizon and build? Or do you go into VR chat and record it on video and reference the video? Or just I take pictures of... Okay. I would say every corner I've nice. I make sure I get like, um, the whole thing, even if I see if the picture seems identical, but I see it is sure. look at the, each angle, look at wow. the, like the proper widespread of like the distance, the close ups, wow. the, really? what should a room look like and how the lighting works. And then I go from there. Just from photos then, huh? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Cheers. Yes. That seems to be the best way. When we did I or we called it Pulse, we did that off of like nine photos. I wish I would have had more than nine photos to be honest with you. So take more than you initially need because you never know. Absolutely. No, I agree with you hundred percent. It would have been so much better if I would have had like, you know, sixty photos for instance. <laughs> with those angles. Oh, bro, you'd be surprised. Like I've had so here's one thing I did actually. So one of the person in the audience, um, I jokingly had a conversation about I can recreate anything you send me a picture to. And she sent mm -hmm. me a picture of her like podcast microphone, like so. And she was like, all right, let's see what you can do with it. And about 30 minutes later, it is like spot on. <laughs> like fair. every the spring detail, the, the hook, the microphone itself. Oh, she was surprised. Uh, that's it takes down, man. Like I said, if you can recreate from a photo, I mean, that's an art here all on its own. So I'm, ha I'm happy to recreate anything if anyone needs. But I just say, well, be careful. Sometimes the, I always, if I'm using creative fits so detailed, I also, um, when I save it as an asset, I put in the detail how much capacity it costs. You know, you think, oh, oh that's probably done. Seven, seven percent, eight percent. Oh, that's not a lot. Okay. Duplicate it six times and it's half the capacity. Mm hmm. Yeah, wow. we've uh, we've all been down those roads. That's yeah, Ace actually taught me. Ace taught me how to optimize. Like I just kind of ran with it because I found that early on my first type of building. I re I mean I didn't know what capacity was, but I, he basically sh very quickly showed me what it was. So then, so I hear yeah, yeah, it is all about optimization and making sure you pay attention to you know how much is going into that one item. So just imagine yeah. if we didn't have capacity. <laughs> I I don't, I, if you would if we didn't have capacity you would go into my worlds and the frame rate would just got just it would just drop so, so I, would, I would say i'd make the world i don't have likes here's so many people come build the world with me well yeah. people are doing it right now look at uh dale i mean his town he did is like what 800 percent objects before before they start capping out like you know how clever dale is he's one of those people like i'm gonna do attention to detail and i don't care about the capacity oh yeah. there's 100 percent. cool assets spawn it <laughs> yeah yeah but yeah, that's that i mean that's how it goes like it's literally like seven it's it's almost there's like 770 like percent it's crazy to me it's like a whole town i'm yet that's, i'm gonna actually Gonna, I'm gonna try that challenge actually and see if I can make the capacity of a thousand and see if it still works. <laughs> yeah. I will literally, I will do the most detailed stuff, and I'm talking every little shape will be the so sm the smallest to the point you look at and you'd be like, that's insane. And then asset spawn it and be like, right, let's see if it handles. So what I just heard is when we go to one of his worlds in the future, 
We might as well get ready to go make a snack or something because it's going to take a minute to get there. <laughs> to the load in? <laughs> it's going to take you're, a minute to load in. You might as well call up a takeaway because you're going to be there like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and if it gets cold, you can just place it on your headset because it'll be so hot. <laughs> yeah, right. See, I, I've had someone say to me, oh, relaxing, you should uh, pass it on a sleeping world then. So when you sleep, it's still loading. I'm like, nah, I wake up and it's still loading. <laughs> Oh man, flag on flag. you get there and half the stuff doesn't load into it's like, oh, let's start that again, you know? Oops, and, you, and, then, and then you go to sleep and you wake up and you're like going back to the main menu. You're in a whole like, new world when you wake up. Damn it, <laughs> we're sending you back now. You have to restart again. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Anyone else got a question? So, just any case? other questions? You want to jump on down? He, jump on down here. I don't know if we'll be able to hear you all the way up there. Can you hear me? We yeah. Can. Yep. Relaxed in. What is your favorite current build that you're working on? That I build from like being an yes. actual world of from built. If it's for the aesthetics, Midnight Rooftop. If it's for the creativity, it's Winter Company. If it's from not from VR Chat Recreations. Oh. Um, <laughs> I did a beach for my friend of mine uh, who was a Christmas present, actually. So I had a best friend of mine who I have a very fond relationship with, and she's like my absolute closest. And she's a beach person, like she wants to go to place like Bora Bora and all that stuff. And I was being a very generous person. I'm always, like I said, giving out to people. So it was, I had three of my best friends that did a Christmas presents for on these world. They did not know I did their favorite places. And with this uh, beach I did was, I would say it was that good. I did it so beautifully well done. I'm so proud of it. She even said to me, this looks like something from Meta. I was mm. honored with that. And oh, absolutely. It was heavily inspired by Kate, Kate Austin. And yeah, I would lie. That was a beautiful beach. Oh, yeah, she did do that whole, uh, the Hawaiian one, right? Yeah, that was, she did a good one as well. Yeah. Bro, you still, I still go to that world and be like, I know I can build this, but I love the style of it. So kind of branch off on that, that same question, would you consider that the same answer if you were to talk about any collaborations <laughs> as well? Or is there a collaboration? No, it, it, that could very well be it. But is there a collaboration that you would say kind of sticks out that was probably your most favorite build you've ever done? I like guess a group effort or um, would you say those are? I don't think I have one just yet, but those things can change and things could still be possible. But at the current state, no, because obviously there's group is recent um yeah i am looking i am looking because the problem is with the group is i'm not it's not for everyone because it's one of those if you can recreate a vr chat world well, doesn't matter what kind of build skill you've got we can teach new people if you want to do that but it's more of i want to be able to have the group to teach people to build so detailedly and then work the same way as how me and like unique jcb would do Mm. Yeah, you know, he he's done more trimesh stuff, and you know when once I get trimesh, he's gonna start teaching me how to do stuff like that. And yeah, so it, I'm just hoping to find some people, and uh, hopefully that maybe they I can find an answer to that. Mm, very well. Well, there's definitely uh, there's definitely a good handful of people in here that do that fine detail. So I'm sure you know. So I hope so, and you know we do, we always give back to people so. Definitely. All right. Do we have any other questions in here? So I do know um, of someone who's recently done something that I, I, the reason I sent you that invite real quick is he's, I don't know, I don't know the name of it. If you want to jump up here real quick, if you guys haven't checked out this world that he did with his, with his uh, fire pit, I've got to say it's, it's that become place? my favorite fire in Horizon. Can we give him a okay. confetti as well? I appreciate that. Yeah, well. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, I've been playing around with uh, the music now. So the world's Embers Embrace, if you guys want to check it Embers out. Embers Embrace. Um, and so I'm messing around with music notes. There's a lot of cool things that you can accomplish with them. 
And so uh, it's probably the most, that's uh, uh, um, what I'm looking for. Uh, it's the most. Kind of like uh, one of the most dynamic. Yeah, probably blocks there is uh, that Horizon has released. <clears throat> Might have been an accident, but they released it and it's it's <laughs> available now. So, um, yeah, if, if you haven't messed around with the. The, the music notes, definitely give it a, a, a go but i will i will warn you uh you can destroy your world real fast uh if you push it too far we were kind of playing a little bit with that so yeah yeah, yeah i know there's uh, at least one person in here that is very badly trying to get that, <laughs> that <final bit. laughs> i'm just saying you know sometimes some people use this, uh, the music uh, particle ones to smoke which is easy mm. way mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I've seen people use. Yeah. Uh, they, I've seen a friend of mine, Blades, who did turn the music notes into an Aurora Borealis, and oh, I'm just like, right, that's clever. And you know, I feel like when you know when you look at it and you think, oh, that's just music notes, that's just there to play. So, but you know, these people just just don't know how they don't know how they do it. But they just come up with like, yeah, maybe music notes. Let's turn into fire. Let's turn into smoke. Let's turn into a visual uh, like details. Uh, with particles and yeah i'm actually looking to speak to a scripter actually um about how to make it into a tornado form well not like a huge yeah. detail but just like a like a spiral line just like a tornado that you can hold in your hand um, mm-hmm. and then I mean, you know what if i get that right i'm gonna be freely to give it out to i mean whether it be fire i mean i think what crazy's done a galaxy right and then you have shadow the smoke on the cigars that trail around Yep. I mean, it's probably one of the most, I would say, dynamic, you know, um, particle effects have hit so far. So, I mean, are you working with that quite a bit right now? Are you experimenting with it or what? So, um, there is a couple of ideas I want to do with music particles, like obviously a fire again. But I want to do mine like kind of like, if you've been to the the world, uh, Lu- Lumaya's house or Numia's house um, by technical, he did the the flames and he did the waterfall with oh, these yeah. particles yeah. and you know that was like when i saw that i was like bro he's just done two things and that immediately was telling me multiple things in my head and i was like what if i tried that what if i want to like i said with the tornado bit have something that people can walk around and just look cool and so and that was inspired me it's like i actually should play around with it and you know if we if we you know god forbid have more particles what can we do mm. Yeah, yeah I mean, we need to get some more particle effects that have those same like parameters and properties and stuff that you can adjust like you can with that one. That, even that, that one like really uh cool things. Like that the swirling one that Meta Jesus had, he put it in that desert. I mean that was just incredible. It looked like an actual sandstorm going I on. You better be listening this, Meta Horizon. You better listen. <laughs> giving you points here. It's true though. I mean they they release some of these sometimes and then they pull them back and then even if you save them, you can't really do anything with them anymore. You know, it's kind of like back when, before environments came out, you know, you can save them as an asset, but you can't change anything from it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I think it, you're correct. I mean, you get a little bit more of those particle effects out there. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Interesting. Anyway. I just, I just think by now we should have a little bit more stuff to play with because it's, I mean, when's the last time we've actually got given something that was useful? Wow, those music notes are interesting. I mean, that doesn't you know, mean stealing like five thousand uh, or something. That's mirrors, crazy. moons, or particles. I'm talking about actually giving out to us. Yeah, I think the last thing right. is probably going to be textures. You know, when they did the update on those breaks, textures is what we need. We do need break. Yeah, I'm tired of using text because it's expensive using, um, you know, using shapes, and people then use text like how the soapstone did use text as well. Mm-hmm. Yep, and that was uh that took a long time. Yeah. Can imagine imagine. It. well because it wasn't just a single color like we had like stones and stuff that were different colors in it and so throughout and all that, that entire like this. line of yeah changing that code arrow arrow not... arrow 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 <laughs> <laughs> little little tiny box and you have like you have to change it the color what like eight times in that one block oh man i had to get it and then you have oh, to yeah. carefully oh no Oh, carefully. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. You, carefully, right. right. Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> like, whoops, it, I think it, I forgot it. a space off there. It's I want, man. And then you're just yeah. like, then the next thing you froze, you're like, wait, I should have. Oh, balls. I should have saved it. 
<laughs> it's um, happened multiple times you know that is one feature that i hope the meta gods do here is copy and paste i'm just saying oh my god uh, the, yeah. we say that then they say yes. oh yeah but we've got we've got duplicate no no duplicates a different matter it's not copy and paste duplicate mm-hmm. the same cool now what am i gonna do no you've got a ray feature i don't want a ray feature i want to copy this bit it's text happy <laughs> yes i want to be able to highlight like hit a b button copy and then a paste or something so you can when you are working on mega text it'd be like so much easier you know just uh, little tiny little blocks and you're oh, off by definitely. like one one bracket I do. You know, like, uh, there is one thing I'd, i think would be useful and i think mobile for those who are builders now hear me out how many times have you guys worked on those text gizmos and you notice that little narrow kind of bar but when you're trying to type something like a, so like you want to do a simple type along like the breaks, you have to re- you have to go from the start, and then you have to wait to go. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> and then so when you can, why not expand the box and so the huge text so that it would have been easy. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, what I've been oh saying. God. From your mouth, man. I'm I'm just saying they don't listen to me. So hopefully they just heard what you said. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Bro, I can give awesome. him. So, I can give him so many ideas. I feel like there's one. There's one thing I personally want that I've been. I've even asked since early 2023, which is mirror effect. Not Ooh, mirror, yeah. mirror. I'm talking. Say like you. You know, the the asset with the the curve um, stairs. Everyone uses them. When you like to have that feature where you can just copy it, mirror effect it so it kind of acts like this. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. It's so simple. You know, and then because people will be like, oh, I don't want to recreate anything because it's too much. Like, yeah, I agree with that. But if you get the mirror effect, boom. Yeah. Like, or a reflect mode or so, that would be so, so useful. But no, we've got more important things to do fixing bugs. <laughs> <laughs> and waiting horizon. Don't delete another my world again. <laughs> Don't delete it. I love how he added that again at the end of that. <laughs> That's funny. You you want to try to give us pointers? <laughs> yeah. oh. Let's see how let's see how good you do building that a third time, delete. <laughs> oh, relax and cloud, you build a you build a couple of worlds. Would be a shame if whoops. <laughs> delete. Bye. And you're like, uh, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> it's like a little cat with something on the end of the table. Should I do it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, I felt so new the other day when I, 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 I found out you can each world has its own URL. It was like, man, this whole time I didn't know that I could have been in these worlds. I feel so. I don't go into the whole, the whole my. You know, Horizons thing or anything. So that's why. I do. I am glad that they do have a website for it, so that if you do mess up or something did yeah. happen, you can back it up and everything. You know, I feel like that's nice, and it's yeah. nice that you can actually have a deed. You can type in your actual deed description and everything. But then saying that, um, so my next one, rest, uh, rest and sleep. It's got a Jap- It's got a Japanese letter in it. I think it's Japanese or Chinese. So like that. Um, I typed it in, and it doesn't even show, and that makes me wonder. You know, sl- yeah. now, now people are not knowingly. There's people from uh, the countries of Europe, like Germany or so, now slowly coming to Horizon Worlds. If you type in, like, because I've also got a, another recreate world of a, an actual German place I've been to, and I type in in German, and they don't even show up the letters, and that makes me wa- mm. wonder. You know, if you type in something in Japanese, it's going to be like plain. Mm. You're now visiting. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome to. Hey, you know, it's an easy search. You just type in nothing, hit enter, you know, you pops up. Nothing. Right, my dad. Where's he gone? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Do we have any other questions anybody has about building or anything along those lines? No, oh, I've scratched my butt. <laughs> no ashman right, well, all the donuts do you want to you have anything you want to throw out to the community before we wrap things up here 
Um, to those who, if you if you want my advice or my inspiration words of building, um, if there's something you've if there's something you want to build, even if someone else got it, try and build it yourself. If you want to build mm -hmm. from a picture, feel free. Nothing's going to stop you. You might even do better than other people. What I would say is take take like your favorite car, your favorite house, or favorite tool. Done about partner thing, but if you want to build something that is like it means something to you, take a couple of photos. Doesn't have to be an angle. Slowly build it. Then once you build it, look back and know that was yours. Be proud of that. Absolutely. Nice words. Just enjoy the process. Yeah. Perfect. And on that note, I think we will wrap things up. Here. Glad you came out and joined us tonight. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for coming. For everybody, we, we're here every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. Feel free to come join us, especially if you guys are working on anything, you got any questions. We we love to answer questions and help people through what they're working on. And give Midnight Rooftop a visit if you if you like to. If you haven't, feel free. It's a beautiful world. And kind of lead with what uh, Aisha said, next week we actually have Cam Bam coming on. So that'll be a good little uh, interview. And uh, he is also very talented with detail as well. So that'll be interesting as well. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, before everybody goes anywhere, I know Lunchley wants to get a picture so we can remove the table. Don't remove me. Oh, Jean take it tonight. So we're going to jump down with Alma Jean. Take it. I say don't remove me this time. <laughs> Don't remove me this time. Yeah. Yeah, that was a mind. If bad. everybody wants to come on up, go ahead and come oh, on up. Oh, Catch, me. Catch me. What's up, Garrett? Catch me. Oh, I can't jump. Jump. <laughs> oh. Is it glitching in, or is it is there horizontal? Yeah, probably, probably horizontal. In screen. landscape for me, I promise. Oh, okay. Ready? Is. <laughs> everybody say cheese. With Queso. Okay, you guys Puffs. failed. Jeez, that. Puffs. You're in a comedy club. Did you expect anything else? Cheese I didn't Puffs. see any confetti or yeah. anything. Did you say cheese, not confetti? Well, everybody knows. Double cheeseburgers. <laughs> Ready? Go! Go! Yeah. See? <laughs> okay. I got Happy it. Guys. You guys. Good show. Happy yeah, days. I got one of the lunch lads. All right, thanks again for coming out there, man. I can't, I oh, can't see my button. That, that, was, up, that was a weird. How much, man? <laughs> that was weird. I came. I got a little late today, but because you got this to your head, because I did this to your head. No, it it just oh. looked. Nothing. I mean, Garrett. What a base. Okay. Good job, relaxing. Good job, relaxing. Much. Nice.